Alright YouTube, Brian here, bringing you an angry video. What you're looking at is the aftermath of a giant mess that I just had to clean up. This light cover that was on top is on top here. I've showed you before. I was downstairs with uh, my wife watching YouTube and we both hear this big crash up in the baby's room where she's taking a nap we're like oh crap what was that go running upstairs this cover had f somehow flipped forward off of this thing fell down smashed the brace in this tank just crushed it and was down in my tank driftwood all akimbo glass everywhere even fish water, typhoon on my baby while she's taking a nap, water everywhere on the floor. So Brian is angry. Luckily, in the end, it, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, the brace is gone, which makes me worry that this tank is then going to pop a leak and make me more angry, but, a whole, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that at this point. You can see there's still a piece of the brace here uh, underneath the plants managed to survive, which is actually good. It holds up, still holds up the plant bar, but now the front of the tank's open. I mean, this is only 65 gallons, so I don't know. Basically, I'm just crossing my fingers at this point. I might see if I can find a glass shop that can cut me a new piece of glass that I can silicone in there because I don't know I guess I'd rather be safe than sorry but yeah but I'm making this video just to tell you guys you can see now when I put this back together after I moved the plants I was lazy I did not secure it here and here like I have now and uh, that's the price I paid for this mess um, I've got a bunch of duct tape on here now, so it's pretty steady, I mean, it can still wobble a little bit, but it's going to take someone really knocking it for it to fall down. So, yeah, I guess while I got the camera running, I might as well update this tank a little bit. I uh, added some new decorations. The discus and the ram are freaked out right now because of recent events. They're all hiding in the back. But I added that piece of driftwood and those two rocks. I think it looks pretty good now. I'm uh, strongly considering going outside and finding some terrestrial moss, bringing it in home putting it on top of this here protrusion so that I can have a little moss island. I'm also considering not considering, I'm going to throw some water lilies in here. I don't know, the only thing I'm still considering is whether to put them in pots or just like throw the bulbs in there. But I kind of just want to throw the bulbs in there. The, from what I've seen, the bottom, the bottom husk or bulb kind of looks like a olive shape, but like the outside of it looks kind of like a coconut. It's like a dark brown, fibrous husk, and then that's where the sprout grows from and everything. So if I just throw them in the sand, you know, maybe like six of them. One, two, three four, five, six. They'll shoot up leaves to the surface and that'll give the foreground a little bit more texture and uh, I don't know, I'm a tinkerer. If you watch this channel you know that every time I show you a tank it's different from the last time you've seen it. I can't leave anything alone. I mean my fish probably resent me for that. Maybe they don't, maybe they like all these changes, who knows. But the point is I got the the fish tank touching itis. Well, look at that snail, man. These snails are getting massive. These are my male mystery snails. 
I put them in here originally because they were just too randy. They were always with the ladies, and I ended up with like a bajillion mystery snails. So I waited until they were mating. I swept in from above and yanked them off, jerked them right out of there, and put them in this tank. And now they're bachelors. I don't know, maybe they'll turn gay or something, but for now they're just chilling, eating everything. Anyway, they're pretty big. There's one more in here, a littler one, one of their children. I saw it on the driftwood earlier. I don't know where it went, but it's pretty cool. It has like a purple purple shell with black stripes. That's why I put it in here cuz I saw the colors and I was like, "Whoa." All right, anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to shut up. Peace y'all. Thanks for watching.